Good day to you. Today we have with us Shri Purna. He's a graduate of CFL in the year 2020, joined IIT Chennai. And in two years, in the first two years, he has built his own code in cryptocurrencies and he's already sold it to um, European companies. And he's now finally able to do one something he's really passionate about. That is related to drone technologies. So he's doing his startup while in his final year and he's even raised up funds for it. In this interview, I'm going to take you through his journey and find out what is what makes him so passionate about a technology that can change uh, India's future uh, with drones in drone technology. Sri Puna, amazing, you know, absolutely amazing to hear those things, you know. And it's even more amazing that CFL students are doing it. Yeah. So, first of all, congratulations. Thank you. So, tell me about it. You know, cryptocurrencies, I've heard about it. I'm not invested in any cryptocurrency. Yeah. Tell me what got you into cryptocurrency and what did you do for that? So, basically, the motivation was simple. Like, okay. uh, during your 2020, when the COVID hit. Sure. So, I was preparing for J. I I was a yeah. CFL student. Yeah. I was just chilling at home. Yeah. So, I just went through some internet videos. Like, I started looking at what people are doing yeah. in US, yeah. why was US so ahead? Then I saw that people are building like hardware and deep tech stuff. And I was like, I want to build something here. So yeah. I was exploring how did people get money to do this? Yes. So I saw, I looked at Elon Musk. He yeah. had his own like a yeah. payment gateway company. He Paytm. sold it off. Paytm, right? No, pay, uh, PayPal, 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 true. So he had built that, then he sold it off. He yeah. made a shit ton of money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then he used that money and started doing what he want, really wanted to do. So like now this is a way to do it. Yeah. So I was like looking at what opportunities do I have right now in this sector yeah. in India right now yeah. that I can explore. Sure. And at that time crypto was booming. Yeah. And I was like let's see what problem this sector has. Yeah. And I found a problem where there was not a central aggregator for yeah. like a multi decentralized platforms. And I had done my research during that time. So I saw that this is a problem which wanted to be solved. People are ready to pay for it. Yeah. So I built the platform was able to get a few customers. I actually demoed, the first customer was uh, the Minister of Commerce, uh, Piyush Goyal. So he came and he was the first one to transact on our platform. So that was actually a you know peak moment for us. And we actually went, started from there, gained traction, was able to uh, get few initial customers, make some revenue. And then ETH India was happening in Bangalore yeah. in 2022. And uh, I went there, <clears throat> I found few people who were actually interested in like, this stuff which we were building, the code which we were building, connected with a few of them and uh, one of them was very surprised by what we had built and they wanted to integrate that into their product. Yeah. So we built that, we had done this, we wanted an exit because I wanted this to be my PayPal. Yeah. So I was like, oh, let's sell this off and let's build something what we actually want, which I actually wanted to do, okay. which was drones. How for a person who didn't know about cryptocurrencies, found out the problem in cryptocurrencies. How did you get to that problem? Pro finding a Pro problem. Finding a problem statement, yeah. yeah. Uh, so I was looking, I did not go into crypto knowing that I wanted to do something there. Okay. I was like, I was exploring at problems in general, yes. in sectors which were being most talked about. Like right now if you see it's AI. Yeah. So at that time it was crypto which was being talked about the most. I yeah. spent some time looking at what cryptocurrency is. Yeah. I Fair did enough. my research, what does a blockchain, how does it work, yeah. what is encryption, all yeah. of those terminologies, like all the jargon in the sector. Common stuff. Yeah. yeah. I learned that, then I started explaining like how do I make money of it. Sure. So I just invested, bought a few bit, bought some Ethereum, bought yeah. some Bitcoins and I was looking at how do we scale it up. Yeah. And I realized that there was a, there was a huge technical leap needed okay. to first buy crypto and then invest it in like places. Yeah. So like. I'm a techie, yeah. but I know a lot of my like dad's friends who were like, crypto is coming up, let's put some money there. Yeah. But I did not know how to put it. Yeah. So I was like, so this is a problem, yeah. which people every day, someone is, sure. a layman is doing something, but yeah. he doesn't know how to do it. Sure. It's a problem. Okay. And I built this platform and I first demoed it to my dad's friends. <laughs> <laughs> and they were actually like surprised, oh, it's just one click. Yeah. Why can't I do it there? Yeah. So I'm like, then come on a platform. Okay. And that's how I got one of my first few customers. Sure. So that's like, that's when I realized there's a need for it. Yeah. There might be problems, but people might not need it. Yeah. Who is going to pay for that? Yeah. That was a so problem. So you found both. You found the problem and you found the customers for the Customers problem. who were ready to pay, pay for, for that problem. Yeah. That is what is the holy grail of a business. Okay. So that's where I found out and like scale it up. Then. So to write the code, uh, let's say if you've developed, if you understood the problem and you hmm. know the need. Where do you learn coding? Uh, online. That's yeah. the like, 
I self learned everything. So okay. I'm in civil engineering. Yeah. They don't teach us coding. They yeah. teach us how to build buildings. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I went to YouTube. There are a lot of free resources yeah. like MIT has its open. Open. Yeah. 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 Those are like one of the best resources available yes. out there. And more than that, it's about implementing and coding on your own. Yeah. Uh, anyone can complete a course, but then how do you translate from the course what you learned there and build something of your own? So yeah. I built a lot of like small projects from web dev. like my friends were in the school in my yeah. class were doing it yeah. so like let me join them i learned a lot just learning like doing projects with my friends so i found a peer group there who were like yeah helpful in like pushing me in the right direction any mistake i did i had always people to contact the peer group in cfl or peer group in C, uh, in, uh, IIT, in iit iit, IIT Madras, yeah. because yeah. the peer group in cfl we went our own yes, different sure, ways yeah. i had a lot of i have a lot of friends in like iit guwahati bombay yeah, yeah. triple iit bangalore nit surat ka sure. like the viewer we always in touch but, but it was a peer group nice. there who with whom i was working actively yes. like building projects iterating okay. coming up with a platform then that breached out yeah sure yeah. yeah good so uh the company that we bought it hmm. just given the people are listening to it how did you pitch your idea to them so this is a bit of a serendipity luck and being at the right place at the right time so we had been building this for 2 years there was general hype around it in chennai yeah. and there are these communities in every city who are in like let's say there's it community yeah. in bangalore there is web3 communities yeah. web3 is basically the group of people who are involved in blockchain yes. uh, so for people who don't know uh, so there's web3 chennai yeah. it's a group of people who are working on like blockchain projects in chennai and i got deeply ingrained in that and i found a lot of like good friends over there who are building awesome projects okay. and they connected me to people in eth india which was happening in bangalore okay i just came to bangalore let's see what let's just yeah. I, i just wanted to learn yeah. so i came up to bangalore in november during the middle of my semester just one month before my end sems yeah. i just ran over there and i was like i found like this there are these huge companies sure. yeah. which are pitching their product yeah. and i found one customer who was like he had this he had a product yeah. but the way he was achieving the goals of the product well, was a bit like a long way yeah. and i found that my product can just fit in like a lego block okay so i was like i spoke to him like what if you had a solution like this yes you like that would be great yeah i have the solution <laughs> here and i presented him the app right away yeah so i pitched it to him and he played with it for an hour and he was like i want this yeah i'm like now i mention a price and then we had a deal yeah, after sure. that and we signed our ndas and all yeah. yeah but we went through with the deal yeah. and i spent like around 2 months after that helping him integrate my software my code into his project okay. and it was a fun experience for me and Absolutely. i and i wanted an exit i got yeah. an exit imagine him impressive right when you're 20 years old you got an exit uh, yeah <laughs> <laughs> not not at the scale which i imagine but it's no, good still, enough it's a good it, you know you've got so many skills you had the confidence to build your something of your own yeah. to pitch it on your own negotiation skills imagine <laughs> people don't get it in a lifetime since yeah. you got it So, uh, coming to your interest now. Yeah. When I was talking to you, you said that you want now your next goal is to build a drone. Yeah. And someday build a drone as good as what the US has and what is the US is selling to India right now. Be better. Be better, <laughs> of course. You know, what's the latest deal? I think that I think I saw in the news that India is buying some. Yeah, three point one billion dollars. Wow. For thirty drones. And that's a lot of tax money going into those <laughs> drones. <laughs> I wish it stayed in our country. <laughs> That's know. what we are doing. Yeah, we just pay the taxes we're paying. At least it comes to India. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. So the thing is, uh, firstly, we are at the whims of US in this deal. Yeah. So any anything even remotely goes haywire, the deal goes on a hold. We just have to listen to them. Yes. And they're selling one unit for hundred. If it thirty for three billion, that's hundred million a wow. piece. Wow. That's expensive. For drone. one drone. Expensive drone. And which is actually fifteen years old. Yeah. and okay. comes with a lot of you know restrictions like we can't use it in pok okay. we can't use it in certain sections we can't use it for combat they just putting rules on us yeah so like why should we listen when it's a 15 year old design with no combat like it's a old generation design why can't we build it we are a nation like which has built like rockets which can land on the moon sure and why, gone to the mars as well yeah, we have so. gone to the mars like, <laughs> that means we can build it yeah. we have talented people building it but why not me right now like this is the best place and i see next 20 30 years india going ballistic i believe in india because i see a lot of my friends yeah. who were actually planning to go abroad yeah staying back yeah and like building let's build something here yeah. 
and i see this momentum going ahead yeah. so i feel like we need to be part of this and i had my own yeah. passion for like building drones i used to be build like uavs and quadcopters when i was in school yeah and i i live near nit suratkal so i used to go there and fly it i heard so, you saying that before yeah so i was just i wanted to build something that was a passion yeah. i found a problem as well yes. because india is buying overpriced drones Right. From other countries, you got a problem statement clear. Yes, clear. Your problem statement is clear. Yes. You want to build the current generation, what US is producing. Yes. In India, yeah. And you guys want to do it. Yeah, and we want to do it for cheaper, which is actually very doable. Yeah. It's just that nobody wants to do it. Why? Because it's a hard problem to solve. <laughs> <laughs> it's a hard problem to solve. It's a challenge, and I love challenges. So I just want to do that. Like, why not? Wish you the best. You know, we yeah. want you uh, to do. You know, and I. and it's two things right you know we want to be self reliant as possible yes. as a country and that too in defense more over than that right so now the problem statement is there let me how it is a great problem and when the problem is bigger which forget about the bigger problem and the small problems people give up yeah you seen that you know yeah. you know oh there's an exam and j is two coming in a few more damn months and i can't give up right now you're taking on the problem that's like way on the frontier yeah where do you get the confidence from Confidence. I would say, like, I have nothing to lose. <laughs> What do I have to lose right now? Like, this is the best time to start. And if I, let's say, even if I fail, sure. What's the worst that will be? I'll just go and do another job. How much money do I need? I'm not behind money. I'm not doing this for money. Like, it's something I want to do. I enjoy doing okay. it. I enjoyed working on projects which didn't pay me back in my college. Yes. So we have clubs in IITM yeah. where we are. We have the Center for okay. Innovation. So we go over there every night. not because and like we get money out of yeah. it but i met a group of people who are actually passionate about building yeah. who are actually passionate about solving problems yeah. and like that was a peer group which motivates me like why not okay we actually have like patrons i have i have patrons of my own like we have three patrons wow and we have we build like it was a time pass project yes. <laughs> which just ended up being like something which had never had been built yes a robotic arm on a quadcopter which can like stabilize itself and Go and work on uh, elect like electrical wires, high tension wires. Yeah. Why send people up there when we can have quadcopters go and do it? So, Shipana. Yeah. Other than the stuff that you want to keep exclusive. Yeah. Which you have to. Yes. Okay. okay. Uh, tell me what the US drone has, the latest generation, hmm. and what's the one that you plan to incorporate in your drone. So, US drones, like uh, drones in general, there are three classification. Nano, like basically the ones okay. which on an individual level, which you can buy, the DJI Mavic, yes, yeah. all Phantom, all of those. Yeah. There's medium altitude, long endurance, and there's high altitude, long endurance. Yeah. So, medium altitude, long endurance, these fly at twenty-five thousand feet. Okay. Uh, they can loiter around uh, for like two thousand kilometers. Yeah. That's the range basically. Yeah. And they may come with or without combat capabilities. Okay. And India is in dire need of this. Okay. And high altitude ones. This is low altitude. Uh, uh, what two thousand kilometer range? What do, what do they call it? The low altitude, the yeah. nano ones. Nano, not the one. You're talking about the ones India needs right now. Is the one? Is a medium altitude. Medium altitude. Medium altitude. altitude. Around twenty-five thousand feet. Twenty-five to thirty thousand feet. And go and go around two thousand kilometers. Yes. On a stretch. Yes, at a stretch, like in a single flight. Like we talked about, it's quite big, right? From you can go from here to Chennai in one go. Yes. So it's so. Let me give you a perspective of the scale of this. Yeah. The wingspan yeah. of this can vary from 10 to 15 meters. Wow! So these are massive planes, basically, yeah. which can go to that feet. They are basically gliders which soar at that feet, and yeah. they can stay in the air for long, yeah. cover the distance, yeah. and uh, surveil from there. We'll have electrical, we'll have infrared, we'll yeah. have uh, you know a penetrating radar and all yeah. of those stuff. All of the tech which we are building. Okay. I will not say how to build because it's yeah, our sure. IP. Yeah, sure, sure. But yes. yeah, uh, we are building that, and these things haven't. They have been built in India. DRDO builds it. Yeah. But they have been facing setback after setback, and like uh, the project had overruns, and then it it went through its own phase. Bureaucracy. I'm Got still it. amazed, you know, like uh, that a problem that, and I want you to succeed. Yes. You know, two reasons, right? You know, just amazing that. You are the David in the Goliath fight, right? Yes. Yeah. You know, and I want that David to win. <laughs> okay, fair enough. So I know where you get your confidence from. You got no failure of there is no consequence of losing. You know, yeah. there's nothing there. There must be other than I see your interest. You've been into the interest about uh, with this uh, mod- with modeling and with flying this 
you know, unmanned vehicles for a long time, you've been into this, it's your interest. Of all the things you could solve in this two things, why this problem? That's an interesting question. <laughs> so, I want to do, I want to build something which I enjoy working on. Okay. That's one thing for me. Which you're doing. Which I'm doing right yeah. now. Another thing, it should benefit the society as a whole. So, people ask me this question, why are you building for defense? Yeah. This is something that can go and kill someone only. Yeah. For that, I have the answer is what APJ Abdul Kalam told. Yeah. Strength respects strength. Okay. So, even APJ Abdul Kalam has built missiles. Yes. He has built a lot of stuff, but he, in, in, in the process, yes. he's also built a lot of stuff which can help, like, which help to underprivileged kids, the satellites which he launched. Sure. It can help underprivileged kids study in their college, yeah. in their schools, in yeah, remote absolutely. villages. And a lot of other material sciences development which well, came about. in research as well. You know? we yes, are able exactly. To do right now. So the thing is, what we are doing, like the technology, the IPs which we come up with, these are staying in India. Yeah. These are, this will be like patented in India, we will be having it in India and anyone in India can use it. Yes. And let's say these drones, if not in warfare, can be used in surveillance, it can Absolutely. be used in like uh, maritime rescue, let's say there's forest fire, yeah. anything. Anything. Absolutely. They can use it. What is going to stop you? Me. <laughs> <laughs> the moment I give up, I think I'll stop. No, what I mean is, let's say for example, right now our uh, drones, whatever yeah. it is, depends, okay, it depends yes, on the GPS system that US built mm -hmm. and, and you'll have to access it. Yeah. Technical challenges. Technical challenges. Okay, technical challenges would be us not being able to uh, manufacture stuff in the timeline we need. Basically, me running out of money. Okay. That would be the major challenge for me. Yeah. Uh, right now, what we're doing is we have kept incremental steps. Sure. So first, we build up a design of our own, custom yeah. design. Yeah. We get an IP for that. Yeah. Then the materials on it. Yeah. Then we look at the electronics. Then we look at uh, hardware and like the internal yeah. the sensor integration. Sure. All of these are a subsystem of their own, yeah. which people have spent decades researching on. Yeah. We want to do that fast. Okay. We are looking at how can we put a scrappy product up and then optimize it better. Okay. Like we'll just take stuff off the shelf. Yeah. We'll see, we'll reverse engineer. We'll see how they have been built. Okay. Is there a way we can build it here? Okay. Uh, you know, use some of our own innovation, try to see if the, for the necessary requirements, yeah. are all of these components needed? Okay. If not, strip them off. Because why are they there? They're just extra costs. They're just extra materials. Just cut, cutting costs yeah. where needed yeah. while investing where it's necessary. Like in India, propulsion systems is not available. Yeah. We'll have to import the engine for our drone. Yes. We'll look at, that will be a later problem once we have the drone up. Yeah. How do we manufacture it in India? Yeah. So it's just an incremental thing which we have set a timeline for ourselves. Yes. So the, only way we can fail or let's say we stop yeah. or it, the startup goes belly up or I go bankrupt is <laughs> I hope are, it doesn't happen but yeah. These are a lot of scenarios which yes. I'm ready for yeah. Like Fair I enough. don't know if I'll be successful I'm just yeah. starting out, I'm just 22 right now yeah. I'm turning 22 So I don't know if this will, 5 years down the line if what I'm telling right now will stay valid yeah. But I'll be happy that I tried Absolutely. And I think and I want to reiterate what uh, MPN told you as well, right? There was a former student of ours who had started up something and they'd gone belly up and bankrupt as well. Yeah. But now they've got so much experience from it that yeah. they have a much, much bigger company. Well, not in the same field, but in this thing. I know that whatever, you know, there might be a failure in this thing, but it'll be a success in your career and your learnings for yeah. sure. Shukuna, I want to say I'm impressed, of course. And I'm grateful that you're taking this step, you know. Yeah. We keep on telling at CFL that CFL students should give back yes. more than they've ever received. And whatever you're doing right now will give back to the country, to the community much more than you've ever received. Yeah. So for that one reason, because you're planning to give back more than you received, I hope that you're very successful. I hope people will listen to this or people, who, you know, who've seen this video connect you to the right people. Yeah. And you get all the funding you need <laughs> to make it successful. Yeah, I need all the help. <laughs> <laughs> so praying for all the help with this video yeah. that it comes to you. It's like CFL also like a lot of my friends who I met here, they're yeah. doing a lot of impressive stuff. Right? That's yeah. like what motivates me. Yeah. The peer group, be it CFL, be it IIT, be it even post that I'm seeing, I, I went to Bangalore. Yeah. The enthusiasm there, the people yes. who are building it, like yes. what's not to love about that. 
میشین یا بعد. Thank you.